Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for Camilla and the three kings that came out in the last reading. So we are going to find out what's going on. I'm only doing uprights today. So we will read them in the upright. So for their energy, we have justice, some balancing of the scales here, um, possibly a judgment call. Oh, we have temperance and the five of swords. So with the five of swords, that kind of tells me there might be a defeat here. So I kind of feel like there's only going to be one that wins. Perhaps there is dating of all three of the kings. The king of, I believe it was the king of wands, the king of swords, and the king of pentacles that came up for her in the last reading. So let's see. Now these are some of the fears here. Somebody's worried about getting defeated and staying grounded, maybe progressing. Somebody is kind of trying to be patient. Um, let's see here. And with Justice, I feel like with Camilla's energy here, she just wants to have things that are fair, truthful, and honest, like having that balance and account accountability for their actions maybe that cause and effect and knowing about karma, um, that if you hurt me, you may end up having some karma. And these three kings here are going to have a few, couple people that may be defeated here, um, and they're trying to have the patience to wait for maybe answers or something of those, something along those lines. Let's see. So we covered the fears. Let's look at the issues that might be at hand for Camilla and these three kings. There could be some jealousy here and let's see what happens. What do I have for issues for Camilla? What are some of the issues she might face here with these three kings? What are some of the issues she may face here, please, spirit? What are some of the issues? Oh, goodness. So I did see this one, which was the Ten of Swords, feeling of betrayal. Now, she could feel that she's worried about something along those lines of someone betraying her. And we have the Eight of Swords here. So with the Eight of Swords, I'm kind of feeling like... Um, could be having negative thoughts, of course, feeling trapped, helpless, helplessness kind of feeling, maybe even feeling victimized. So having that self-imposed prison, so being in their head, uh, or she is, about getting betrayed. She's concerned about this. So let's see. What's the next one we have here? So what is the motivations between these three kings and Camilla? What is the motivation here for these three kings and Camilla? Can I get three cards for each one? How about the king of swords? What is his motivation? That's too many spirit. The king of swords, what is his motivation towards Camilla? What is the motivation for Camilla? Okay, so that's way too many. And I don't even want to take any of them because I saw too many for it to be in this reading. So the King of Swords, huh? So he's showing up here. So <laughs> what is his motivation though? What is his motivation? And the King of Swords, he is disciplined, serious, kind of has that integrity, very intellectual, has that feeling of power, but he's very reasonable. Whoa, hello. I'm just gonna scooch down here and grab these cards. 
my hair is still wet from my shower. So let's see here. So he is very much present. So what is the motivation, please, Spirit, when it comes to the King of Swords and his motivation? Okay. Well, it looks like he wants to treat her like the queen that she is, the queen of coins. And I kind of feel like they're quite aware that she's nurturing, resourceful, trustworthy, has material success. But is that the only reason, I wonder? Okay, let's look at the King of Wands, who is maybe a business person, he's devoted, maybe kind of strict sometimes, wise and educated. So let's look here about the King of Wands. Whoa, okay, fell on the floor. What is with these guys? Ugh. Sorry guys, ah, it's kind of getting away from me, go, here we go, oh, well, somebody has love here, so somebody's looking at her as maybe the money train, the king of wands is passionate about love here, kind of a decision in love, and what about I don't want to take that card because I didn't get a chance to answer, uh, get the question out. <laughs> uh, what is the motivation for, I think it was the King of Pentacles that was the last one here, yeah. And that's too many. Can I just get one card for the King of Pentacles? What is his motivation towards Camilla? Ugh, that's too many. Oh, it's only two. The nine of coins and the seven. So this is long term here. And the nine of coins, he's very well self-sufficient for his money already. Very um, confident in his abilities to make money. But I feel like he's looking for long term with Camilla. I don't feel like this is um, a short term offer. I feel like this is kind of marriage in particular. There is love here for the King of Wands and a choice. Uh, it's a choice for this King of Wands. Um, not that he has to, but he wants to. And I kind of feel the same for the Nine of Coins here, self-sufficient. Um, with the money here, I'm kind of concerned there's no love showing up, but more love can show up. Later, he's already uh, focused on his money. He has nine coins already, and he's just looking for that love, it looks like. What am I getting? Okay, so recent past, let's see. Having the courage maybe to come forward or take that leap of faith when it comes to Camilla. Let's look here. I'm just gonna move this over. I keep forgetting that I need this part over here. So I'm just going to move it over a little bit. So let's look. Love for the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Very self-sufficient already. So what is coming up in the recent uh, or the near future for Camilla and these three kings? What is coming up? Four of Coins. So uh, with the Four of Coins here, it's hmm, there's feeling cautious, maybe fixation on wealth, possessiveness, hmm, maybe saving some money, maybe feeling overly cautious here. Can I get another card for the Four of Coins? High Priestess, using her intuition, I feel. Okay, so somebody may be hanging onto her and she's going to use that intuition here, I feel. Let's see, what is the internal feeling that Camilla may have towards these three kings? 
what is the overall feeling she has for internally how is she feeling about this how is she thinking or feeling on the inside about this person just her own self Ah, oh, the queen of cups so she's quite um, susceptible to love she may be looking for love she may even be in a relationship right now um, she may be single but uh, she's definitely feeling lovable loving compassionate all those wonderful feelings of the queen of cups she is a sweetheart and I feel like she might be pretty spicy too <laughs> Let's see, we have the Page of Cups, maybe some news, maybe something that was manifested. And with the Page of Cups, I feel like it's um, happy news, kindness, maybe some emotional insight, something passionate, a passionate beginning here. So let's see here, what do we have for, and that's externally. So. There are offers here, okay, which we already know. And it might be somebody she's happy to hear about that wants to give her an offer. Let's see, what is the next part? What does she not see coming? What does Camilla not see uh, coming? Ugh, darn it. Ah, throwing it on the floor, Oh. What she does not see coming is maybe a Capricorn or something that is, hmm, how do I put that? <laughs> I don't want to say toxic, although there is maybe one person here that is toxic, I feel. Um, one of these people here, somebody wants to treat her like a queen um it could be they're all about money and no love or it may be that they're all about the money here so what let's get another card for the devil please for what she does not see coming what does she not see coming here with the devil whoa Nine of Wands. So with the Nine of Wands, could be that she's the wounded warrior, maybe trying to find direction here, a sense of well-being. I feel like she's quite successful. She may be content where she is right now. She's satisfied. Maybe her wishes are being fulfilled right at this point. And she's heading in a direction um, that's going to take her places. But there is that devil uh, energy there, which may be causing her to veer off from this person. What is the outcome here when it comes to these three kings? What is the outcome here? Now, keep in mind, one of these people may be somebody she may be with already. These might be other offers that are coming forward to try to steal her away. Or if she is single, then these are just offers coming in um, to say, hey, I like you and I'd like to date you. Let's see. Now, this is the outcome. She is looking for equal give and take here with the six of coins so i feel like maybe she may even get a message um with the six of coins i kind of feel like there's balance here this equal give and receive um sharing wealth um generosity gratitude i kind of feel like it is the more you give, the more you receive kind of feeling here. Knight of Wands. There is, um, I kind of feel like a stranger may be coming in with the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands also talks about travel. Um, could be here for a good time, not a long time. Could also be um, altered plans here or some type of disruption that's going to 
get her attention. So could be one of these guys is a stranger that comes in. She might know one of them and the other um, may be someone else she knows or has some type of relationship with or knowledge of. Like could be somebody that is um, more of a, an acquaintance. And then somebody completely new that she doesn't know I feel is a stranger coming forward. Maybe they live away, they had to travel to get here. But it is somebody that's going to give equal, give and take, depending on which one she chooses. So, and whether she stays with the person she may already be with right now. If she is. I have no idea. I have not looked into her. Let's see. Maybe a proposal coming forward. Something that's going to make her very happy. Could be marriage. Could be somebody um, that has is envious of who she may be with right now. Is jealous. Could be wanting to hang on to her. Somebody is hanging on to her. Because I believe we have the four of coins here. Yes, right here. So... Yeah, an offer is on the table, and it's a clear path ahead with that. There may have been some uh, sad sadness around this union at one point. So let's see what happens here. All right, can we have a card for justice on her energy? Wanting that sense of justice or karma to come in for somebody not that she's asking for that, but it just may be that her ancestors, angels, and spirit guides is working behind the scenes to bring that to her. Yeah, there is uh, some news, financial news maybe, when it comes to justice. This is something that's going to be, um, I kind of feel like, with the page of pentacles maybe taking some steps to a dream maybe she had maybe even um feeling grounded working diligently being dependable having that um how do you say that uh, well she's goal oriented you know it's something that is an offer now whether I still feel like it has to do with her finances. Let's see, what's the Five of Swords, the Defeat, and the Temperance being patient? What is that about, please, for Camilla? Ah, having the sense of intuition, that knowledge, maybe even being a little mysterious here <laughs> with the High Priestess. Having that um, shadow and light side and having that balance between and being good with who she is and not um, worry about being accepted for who she is. She just is accepted, you know, that having that knowledge going through a process and being very fruitful by it. And I feel like whoever feels defeated and has the patience to work it through by their intuition. Can I get one more card with the High Priestess? Yeah, celebration. So I do feel like um, perhaps it may have been a third party uh, at one point involved in her life, whether it is now with whoever she's with or if it was in the past. There was some type of um betrayal with the ten of swords the stabbing of the back and uh feeling that betrayal i'm gonna say being in her head about that maybe even having that feeling come out when it comes to these three kings here how about the King of Swords who showed up in this reading? This King of Swords. Ugh, stop 
chucking it on the floor. <laughs> now this is the page of swords, it looks like. Ugh. I'm up the reach down and grab that. Okay, page of swords. Sorry guys. Um, with the page of swords, it could be communication, maybe a messenger, could also be gossip, maybe even somebody that's ready to do uh, what is needed here. Maybe even finding uh, useful information, kind of quick on their feet watching their Facebook or social media or whatever she's doing. I kind of feel that maybe online um, with the communication there with all the birds and maybe gossip. Hmm. Something's brewing here with this. Whoever betrayed her is definitely watching her. Okay, yeah, hmm, she's thinking about it now, and maybe she realizes now that this was an in and out type of thing, possibly um, once this person gets what they want from her, maybe they're not going to be around a lot, or take off, or ghost her, could be that with the night, uh, could be, oops, darn it. Could be uh, needing boundaries in place. I saw the seven of wands there. Um, with the knight of wands, ah, that one's a tough one. It could be alternative plans. Maybe this disruption by this um, stranger comes in here and takes her, uh, catches her off guard, let's say. Okay, the King of Swords and the Queen of Coins. What is that? Is that somebody else in the mix? Mm. Here's the Lover's card for the King of Swords. So it may not just be about money. This might be a choice in love and could see themselves treating her like a queen, giving her the love that is needed since she showed up as the Queen of Cups here. That sweetheart, she could be the, I want to say, uh, empress, right? Because she is very successful. She's showing up as that. She's showing that she has intuition as well. She's showing that she has uh, justice coming in and other offers coming forward. What about the lovers? Mm, she's going to have to use her judgment when it comes to this choice. And that is for the, uh, I believe it was the King of Swords, the King of Wands, and then, of course, the King of Pentacles. So why is judgment here with the lovers? Is that some sort of karma coming forward or... What are we looking at here? Mm, having some courage. Mm, wanting to maybe work something out. So this could be somebody from the past that wants to make a decision in love uh, towards her work something out or it's somebody that she has worked with in the past. Let's see, nine of coins and the seven of coins. What is that for the king of pentacles? Let's clarify the king of pentacles, please. Oh. Wow, we have the emperor here. Wow. So we have the emperor here, and it's funny that I said that she may even be coming out as the empress because of the queen of coins showing up and the queen of cups. I don't necessarily feel like it was a third party. If this is the third party, I feel I don't feel that though. I feel like this is her here. Very cute, sweet. Yeah, and single. 
Let's see, what is the strength in the recent past? Oh, she may have gotten a tarot reading for herself, or she knows a tarot reader, and they are telling there is a new beginning and a passionate one. What is this High Priestess and the Four of Coins, please, for Camilla? Oh, yeah. So something that is going to be very fruitful for her by using her intuition. Somebody is hanging on to her, and she is getting that Ten of Pentacles. That is the highest thing you can get. Let's get one more card for the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, there's some healing happening here, which I'm glad to see because she has been betrayed before. So let's see, what else for the Queen of Cups other than that she may end up single here? She was a wounded warrior, but she is getting some justice. Somebody might be facing some karma. So let's see, Ace of Wands and the Knave of Cups, which is the Page of Cups, please. Let's clarify the Ace of Wands showing up again with the, yeah. So she is self-sufficient, I feel, um, and she's just looking for that last cup. So she's very independent and has a very strong sense of leadership, I feel. Oop. Let's see, what else was on here? Oh, there may have been a lover involved or third party because this is my third party card here so hmm. there may be some news about this other lover and possibly she is finding that out about this ten of swords here with this betrayal so who, whatever betrayal it was this person is watching watching her Oh, oh, dang. All right, let's just pick those up. Oh, boy, I tell you. <laughs> let's try to keep them on the table, please, Spirit. <laughs> All right, so the nine, I didn't get that out. So let's try this again. The, the devil and the nine of wands. Okay. Ah, this is definitely a page of cups, which is an offer in love. Um, it can also mean some happy news, maybe some emotional insight, and the devil, ah, betrayal, there's the betrayal there too. So there is somebody within this group that either has betrayed her in the past or is wanting to give an apology for the betrayal. It could even be that they're going to offer her something here even though they may be trying to betray her. Let's see, what's the six of coins? Equal, give, and receive. What is the six of coins here? All right. Yeah, the chariot. So success, wanting that success, winning the race. Um, let's see, with the chariot, can also mean that there's some duality here. Maybe opposite attracts. Could also be, um, I'm kind of feeling like with the chariot, oh, that's happy home, happy life, happy wife on the bottom of the deck here. So I'm kind of feeling like with the chariot, with the uh, that's coming forward is some uh, equal give and receive, and maybe even a marriage proposal with. Let's see. Yeah, somebody may be dishonest with this devil card and this ten of wands or swords. Sorry. And you know, that that is somebody coming in with this Knight of Wands in and out type of behavior. So they may not be there for the long term. It's more or less she will feel betrayed by this person. So with the lovers, I kind of feel 
over here um, and then again over here I kind of feel like it is a heartfelt choice there's balance harmony loving maybe some passion to they may even have values that align with her and there is somebody here that is um, I kind of feel um, that wants to work things out so this could be somebody she's trying to work things out with that betrayed her in the past possibly because these this is issue she has um, she's in her head about being betrayed so if it is the same person this might be tough for her to get um, although she has healed from it uh, this might take her um, by surprise but with this stranger coming in this might be somebody that wants marriage with her and commitment doing the right thing you know and if she is the empress she's definitely a divine feminine if she's showing up as the queen of cups and the queen of coins oh, let's see it could be this king of swords has a queen of coins that maybe he's already with when it comes to this one choice may already have a third party on the side that I haven't let go of yet. The other choice is somebody that maybe betrayed her that's going to face some judgment here and still wants to offer love, wants to come back into her life. Could be they feel very wounded getting this justice for betraying her. But somebody wants to propose. Happy life marriage card here. I feel, you know. So eventually there is a marriage on the table here. Could be from this person that's traveled to come to see her it could be uh, somebody that is um, maybe change their plans or hmm, may have been away for a little while but whatever it is, they've changed some plans. It's going to be a bit of a disruption for Camilla. Hmm. Let's, since there is love here, let's see here what the King of Swords is. We'll get one card for each of them. The King of Swords. What is the motivation in love here? is the motivation for love <laughs> that's the question what is the motivation here when it comes to love for the king of swords please can i get one card please ah not on the floor oh okay so this could be why this connection is really tough to walk away from um regardless if they have somebody else here which i kind of feel might be the case with that queen of coins i thought maybe it had to do with the um with her being an empress but the more i look at it this is a choice in love and it could be between camilla and this queen of coins here but i feel like camilla for this person it's hard for them to walk away from her because of this past life relationship they have known each other before in a past life so it's going to be a choice between two. This uh, third party and Camilla, who is, I feel, the sweetheart here. So I feel like it's going to be between these two queens for this king of swords. Let's see here. We have the king of wands. 
love yourself first so maybe there was some insecurities here that they wanted to work out they've gone through some type of justice here or just judgment sorry and it is a choice in love and maybe the reason they walked away to begin with was because they had not enough self-love for themselves what is the emperor okay romance romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring so it could be that this emperor is having these romantic feelings towards camilla so but one of them has unrequited love maybe it is this stranger coming in there is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going so I kind of feel like there's somebody from um, the past, which I feel is the King of Wands. I feel the King of Swords is having to pick between two. And she had a past life with Camilla. Maybe that is why there's a pull there. And then the King of Pentacles, there are romantic feelings that this emperor has towards Camilla whether it is reciprocated is um, not really showing up here and then we have the knight of wands which is could be a stranger coming in this might be an acquaintance she has and this person coming in the stranger does not have any love or chemistry with her yet um, maybe that is why he's coming I'm traveling to see about to see if there is something there so but this is what i have for camilla with these three kings um so well really in all reality an emperor here so yeah this is what i have for camilla so she's got a lot going on there's some choices she's gonna have to make and she may end up being single at some point here because of some type of betrayal because she did come up as I was talking about the Queen of Cups so did the Nine of Pentacles so she is all good on herself um, there is a wounded warrior here and some justice and I kind of feel like possibly maybe it is this person here that this past life relationship could be somebody from her past now, whether it is somebody from um, another lifetime or if this is just in her past itself, um, could have been another person involved. And there's a choice to make between the two queens. Now, this person here could be someone else she maybe has been with in the past and they just didn't, it didn't work out. And maybe they want it to work out, but they need some self-love first. So in any case, this is what I have for Camilla. Please like, share, and subscribe. And there is a donation box below if you wanna to donate to the channel. Every little bit helps, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Take care, stay blessed. All right, later.